Hi everyone, it's Christina and welcome to my channel. I am going to show you some shopping that I've done, crafty shopping that I've done in the last six months. And I've kind of just dumped everything in here. I do have another pile over there from scrapbook.com and I'll show you that after we finish this tub. So, I have, there's a local gal who lives here in town. She sells Stampin' Up! And so I bought these doilies. I think there's like 50, 40 or 50 doilies per package. And there is red in here and pink in here. So red is perfect for Christmas that's coming up. And then pink for Valentine's Day. But these will be good for absolutely any time of the year, right? So I love that. And then this is linen thread. This is my absolutely favorite thread to use for crafting. I like it because it's got these little fibers that hang out. If anybody knows where I can get this in bulk and really nice and thin, I don't know what the millimeter is, but it is really quite thin. I'd love to buy this like in a big spool. So anybody knows, let me know. But in the meantime, I'm happy to buy it from Stampin' Up. And this is 15 yards, and I got a couple of those. Then I went to the dollar store, got some washi tapes. This is going to be for next year. I thought these went really nice together, the watermelon and the stripes. I don't know where I got this, but look. It says, but first coffee. It's got coffee beans, then it's got coffee cups, and these little characters, and they are drinking coffee. How cute is that? All right, then I got these. I haven't even opened it yet, so there are one, two, three, four. Okay, so there's five. Oh, no, there's one, two, three, four, five. There's seven washi tapes in here, but they're calling them, oh, it's by Jane Davenport. It's called Journal Tape. So I wanted to open this. I wanted to know the type of fabric. Is it fabric or is it paper? Okay, so it's this is really thin paper and it's got sticky tape on the back. So you peel it and it is sticky. So it's plain paper and then you can write on this journal tape. So it's got a plain one one with, uh, let's see, it's got like a little envelope on it, a paint palette, so that's kind of cute. And then a thinner, plain one, and a pencil, and a paintbrush, and another thinner one, and a thinner, thinner one. <laughs> so, kind of cool. Bought that. I think I got that at Michael's. And then I picked this up, I don't know where, the dollar store maybe, or at Michael's. And I like this because, so there are 50 in here, 3 by 5 And I like these to use in my journal. And it's already got that in that. You know, you kind of, it's a nice, it's cool look to have it like that ripped. And then you put that on your journal page this way, or this way, or this way. Um, and yeah, you just glue it down and you can ink it up and add stickers or whatever, but perfect for your journal. So I got one of those. Then, I don't know, I guess I bought a piece of clothing. You know how sometimes the clothing comes with tags? Well, this says, uh, it's a black tag. It even has that loop pin on the top. And then look what it says on the back. Who, where, okay, where meaning wear something, but... You can always change that to where, W-H-E-R-E. -E. Who, where, what, when. <laughs> oh, it does have a where. <laughs> I just thought that would be fun to put on one of your journal pages. And then you could answer those questions. All right, then I did, uh, I ordered this on Amazon. They're called Loop Pins. And there are... 120 pieces. I'll link this to where I got it on Amazon. And I think this is that brass color. And nice to use these again on any craft project you're doing. This is really nice to add. I'm going to show you it's on the side of my journal. Let's see, 
Nope, not there. Oh. See right here? And at the end of it is like a pearl. I mean, you, put, you can put any type of charm on it. But really nice way to decorate the sides of your journal. Um, so got that. And then in here, also on Amazon, and this is 160 pieces. And same idea, again, I can, you know, you can clip it on a, a journal spot, a journal page along the fabric or the um, trim along the side pages of your journal. But these are like little tiny, tiny, tiny <laughs> safety pins. I'm also going to look for ones that are a little bit bigger as well. But I like to have that in my stash. And look at it comes in a container. Gosh, I love things that come in containers. Then I don't know where I got this. Maybe I wish. Oh, I got this at Winners. It's the little book of cat stickers. So lots of little stickers in here. When I'm doing um, a page on of who, of course, on Indie. <laughs> then I don't know where did I get this. Uh, I must have. Oh, I got this at Liquidation World. And look at all these stickers, because I do love Harry Potter. And these just peel off. They're clear stickers. And that would be fun. Put on a page, right? So it's got these ones. And three quarters. Nice. Like that. Hogwarts. And yeah. Look, Draco. Anyhow, I thought it would be fun to... And it was so cheap, right? Two bucks. Stick those somewhere in a journal page. Then I got this at the dollar store, and they're just stickers and words. Lots of good things in here. Then I picked this up at the j dollar store, and it is 50 sheets of parchment paper. So I picked up two packages. I don't know where I put them, but I made uh, I made little favor bags out of these and these would be perfect as well if you just want to cut this uh, like this size here and leave the crease and add them as a journal page in your journal so I just actually thought of that I think I might do that um, now I made some treat bags oh here oh, here we go so here I made a whole bunch of different sized treat bags. And then I used my zigzag scissors to cut the top. And I made all kinds of sizes. Big ones, little ones, and somewhere in here is a tiny one. Then at the dollar store, I got some craft paper. This is a little six by six pad. Oop, I gotta have to open this up. And there's some cute designs in here. Oh, I like the hearts. All right, then I picked this up. I can't remember where I got this, but they're little Ziploc bags, and I thought when you are doing, or when I'm doing Happy Mail, you can stick, you know, whatever it is you want to put, or whatever it is you want to put in the bag, and then close it up. So it's just like, again, like little gift bags, right? And look at these cute stickers. Love them. Coffee, Eiffel Tower, Donut, Cupcake, I Love Paris, like the little cup. And then this one here, Making Memories, You Are My Happy Place. I just love this girl sitting on the suitcases. So I've got that. Okay, and that's it. And then I did get the container. I just love this big container. All right, so let me just put all this away and I'll grab what I got at scrapbook.com. All right, so it's not a huge haul, but I am starting to prepare for Christmas. I need to start making journals. I'm in a Christmas swap, so 
everything has to go away in my craft, not my craft room, not everything has to go away, but I have to clear out some things to make room for Christmas supplies. So I did get some glue because I'm almost out and I hate being out of, I hate being out of glue and adhesives. I always had to have lots of backup and that is pretty much one of my favorite glues or adhesives. And then these were, I don't, I don't think anything was on sale. Maybe the papers were, but these are ephemera and it's by Photoplay. And I guess it was called Not a Creature Was Stirring. Look how cute this is. Don't, no, don't hurry. Be happy. I love that. It's called Cling Be Happy. Look at this. So this is by, this is a six by six pad by, it says, Welcome Santa. It's Dress My Craft. Dress My Craft. Uh, I don't know. Dress, I guess it's by Dress My Craft. So I bought one for my Christmas swap. But look at these pretty paper. Oh, and just the feel of it. It's kind of like plasticky. So, so pretty. Oh my goodness, look at this little van down here. And so vintage. I love the script in the background. Oh my goodness, look at this page. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to love using this pad. And I just love these colors. Wow. Oh, each page just gets better and better and better. <gasps> oh wow, I love it. Just love it beautiful snowflakes this one very vintage is like a newsprint oh story story night oh look how cute and then this one here there's the sleigh up in the sky all the houses down here snowflakes Beautiful. Love that color. And look at all those things. Wow. Just love that. The paper is very thick, too. Look how pretty that is. And lastly, uh, wood grain with the snowflakes on it. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So if you love that, um, I will link to as much as I can on, on, under, on the description box. Welcome Santa. Dress my craft. Then I got, this is a fall piece of paper, the 12 by 12 by Reminiscence Harvest Plaid. If I don't use, oh wow, if I don't use that this year, I definitely will use it for uh, fall journaling next year. I bought this for all the stockings. Look how cute that is. And I like that too. But I have to start um, preparing for making my Christmas journals. So um, love that paper. This I'll save for next year. <laughs> How cute. Look at all the little um, candy pumpkins. Oh, that is so sweet. Like that side too. Oh, I got a couple of those. Well, at least I'm prepared for next year. And then this one, it's called By Simple Stories. Oh, I guess I should have said, hmm, I should say. All right, so that is Christmas Farmhouse by Cart Tabella. And this one is, uh, hello, um, oh dear, oh, Cartabella Creepy Candies. And this is by Simple Stories Apron String. So these are all stickers. Absolutely love that. I bought this for my December Daily. I bought this for my December Daily. 
got lots and again they're all stickers and this is by Simple Stories it's called Simple Vintage North Pole and I got one two three of these ones by 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 some <laughs> Simple Stories called Simple, Vi Simple Vi Vintage North Pole, and that's this side, and then this is the other side. Wow, I love that. And then this is also by Simple Stories called Dear Santa Simple Vintage North Pole. Ooh, I got lots of those. I got one, two, three, four. So that's that side, and then that's that side. Oh, I love that. And let's see, I got this one by Cartabella Christmas Plaid. Love the plaid. And I got two of these by Authentique. Uh, called Magical Six, Magical Six. All the North Pole on one side and plaid on the other. Collection Magical Six, yeah, two-sided paper. So there we go. That is my haul from scrapbook.com and the dollar store and all those other places I went shopping at. Uh, anyhow, it's that time of year, people. I know we're getting ready for Christmas. It's kind of weird to say Christmas in October, but not really, right? Okay, hope you all enjoyed that, and we will see you in the next video. Ciao. Bye, everybody.